Before the video begins, I want to mention that um, this is very new information. I uh, didn't manage to put in my commentary, unfortunately, but I definitely wanted to mention that uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint will not be coming on Steam. Instead, it will be once again an exclusive to the Epic Game Stores. That's including, of course, the Uplay, mind you. So it's not exactly exclusive. This is a confirmation, guys. This is not a rumor, just so you know. All right, back in track. All right, how you doing guys? Back at it again and uh, with my thoughts on the Ghost Recon Breakpoint. We officially got the uh, proper name for it, more or less is uh, sort of a continuation from the Wildlands, more of a sequel. As predicted, yes, there's going to be a completely new game. Before in my other commentary, I mentioned that it will, it can be a standalone game, it could, could be some kind of big expansion, perhaps we did not know exactly. There were some rumors already and we already kind of got more or less have a confirmation that it will be by the name of Breakpoint. I did not want to mention it in that previous commentary due to the fact that it was just still it was a rumor and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Watch Dogs 3 on top of that as well. But if you want to take a look at that video, I think it still is very relevant about this commentary I'm going to be making and uh, just listen in and uh, enjoy this one anyway. Before I do progress into the thoughts, I want to mention that Watch Dogs 3, a lot of people as well in the comments told me that Watch Dogs 3 may come out in November. It does not make sense. Why Ubisoft would never really be releasing their uh, two games back to back after a month of, you know, prior to its release. No, that's not how it works. Ubisoft doesn't really do that. And uh, the reason is, yes, I understand this is made by two different developers. I completely understand that, but it's just not significant. It does not make any sense for them to do that. They will lose on the funds and they will lose on the money if they do that. So they want to spread out the, uh, the game. So I personally think that Watch Dogs 3 will be coming out in the early of 2020. That's that. Okay, back on track. Regarding the Ghost Recon Breakpoint and where our thoughts, uh, my thoughts anyway, on the gameplay and what they have shown so far with the details of information as well. Now looking at the gameplay myself personally, I thought it was more or less a carbon copy from the Wildlands, but they have, uh, I don't want to say significantly, but they have up tuned to the graphics. I don't think or I don't want to say anyway that this was an improvement with the graphics wise. In fact, I would even argue to say that it looked like a downgrade to me. But, you know, that's subjective due to the fact this is a very early in the alpha. So I can't exactly comment on that. So this is also a wait to see sort of aspect and just to make sure if I can get into it uh, later on. Now, uh, I want to mention this. I'm looking at the gameplay right now while I'm having this commentary and uh, I'm giving my thoughts. <sighs> Get rid of that slider, that bar on the bottom corner, please. You know when he gets tired or he runs out of stamina and a, and the bar gets into a red bar, right? And it just re reduces when you stop and you, you know, you need to take a break, you need to catch a breath. Fuck, get rid of that slider bar or at least don't make it so visible right in front of you. It feels like it kills my immersion for this game. It, it's it's over it's overdundant. It's too much. Please stop with that freaking uh, bar on the bottom corner. Now I understand as well that the um, the everything has been removed you, uh, for the UI and stuff, obviously, and so it's, it is pretty much of expected to see that there might be some kind of changes. Now I understand as well, and whatever, okay, right? This is still an alpha. Everything can change until the re uh, final release of the game. Now the biggest thing Wildlands, I want to mention this. Uh, biggest thing Wildlands has a big problem of uh, because this, it is an open world game, so obviously the traversal. Well, it's obviously going to be vehicles. So, in this breakpoint, uh, yeah, the vehicles are coming, uh, making a return. But my hope that the vehicles feel weighty and they feel right to drive. Because in Wildlands, they felt cartoony as fuck. They felt shit. It was awful to drive and even fly helicopters. Now again, they have mentioned that they are, uh, you know, introducing vehicles back at it again. Hopefully they are going to make improvements, more weights into the vehicles. Just make sure they're not like some kind of weight, uh, lightweight or anything like that. It made no sense, completely didn't make no sense in Wildlands. It was a big down point for the Wildlands, personally. Now, obviously, there are not going to be any of those civilian types of vehicles. The only vehicles that you will be able to drive, as it seems like, and those are more or less of a military base. Obviously, this is an aurora of the, uh, you know, an island that you will be facing these groups of, not bandits, more of a trained soldiers. And by, because you are ghosts, and so one of the ghosts has more or less, you know, 
betrayed you. I don't want to say betrayed you, but he went rogue. And now he's with this, you know, a professional crew, so to say, right? I I'm putting this in mild details due to the fact that I want you to understand regarding the story and how it goes about. They have mentioned that they are going to be concentrating a lot of the cutscene moments and they have mentioned that there's going to be a bunch of that. So much more than Wildlands ever had. Wildlands had a big problem with its cutscenes that it, it just was not enough. Now I'm not saying that every game should have cutscenes, I'm not saying that obviously, no. I do want to see some kind of cutscene that would look good because a lot of things in Wildlands felt like a very stale, very doll-like things and well obviously all of that is coming back and is, it is making a return. Just take a look here. Yeah. You don't think it looks like a doll, but whatever. I'm nitpicking the shit out of this game, I feel like now, but whatever. Let's get back into the conversation of the, uh, you know, the gameplay, the game, how it feels, how it looks. Obviously, I can't talk about how it feels while well, I'm not playing the game. How it, how it looks, it looks good. It looks very military, it looks very tactical. I do like that personally, but how tactical will that get you know how they always show off these first teasers and first trailers most of the times they never make a return and most of the times they have been lied throughout and throughout their teeth and it's insane sometimes that they have managed to do here uh regarding as well uh limping and then that new feature anyway that uh this ghost recon game has um you know when you get shot you start to limp and then you need to use a bandage, then you need to use a painkiller so you can get back into the track, into the fields, and make sure you do your own, you know, objective or whatever, right? Uh, I don't know yet if I like that feature, but I do see it being uh, somewhat of a necessity. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna put it on more of a positive note, and I'm gonna say yes, I do, I kinda like that feature, to be honest with you. I just wanna see how it plays out and how it goes about. Because a lot of this stuff that you have seen here, they were very heavily scripted. Especially that uh, melee fight uh, with a woman that has happened uh, when she was facing up one of the bad guys, and uh, I, I, that felt very scripted, personally. Personally, uh, okay, I'm not trying to bash on this game. Please understand this. I, it does look good. Does look very military esque, and it does look like it knows what it tries to be. Now, it does it does not seem like it knows what it wants to be, right? Does that make any sense? Wow, I don't think it made sense. Anyway. It does tries to be a Ghost Recon game from the Wildland series, okay? That does look like to be, okay? The other thing is just that, um, okay, I'm missing my words. It, the other thing, it does not seem like it knows how to uh, innovate, if that makes any sense, okay? Innovation it means something introducing completely new ideas. The new idea in here, a whole thing anyway, is the introductionary of the future-esque, future -esque, I want to say, technology-wise that you can have into you for your advantage, and of course, the enemy's advantages, so it will be a big disadvantage for you. The drones looks like, or it seems like, is the big, big thing regarding this, the drones, right? They are the killer hunter drones, whatever, right? So what will happen if the enemy takes over them? What would happen if they try to use it against you? Now I understand personally, this is, has been done many times over and over, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I believe so, like, that's, that's that. What happens if the enemy has the keys, you know, to take over that? But whatever, that's, that's, that's the point, that's not exactly important personally, and um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this game, I need to find out more, and yes, we will find out much more about this uh, game at the E3, uh, I believe we'll be at the Ubisoft press conference. Even though the, the times on that, on that E3 is ridiculous because like there's one at 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, and there's one at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock that's fine, but 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's insane, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> for the press conference, but still I'm, I'm definitely am willing to wait and see and I definitely want to uh, stay, uh, stay tuned for it live. Alright, hopefully I triggered enough people. Um, it's just more or less wait and see. You know what I mean? Like there's still there's still more to see, and I want like I want to get experience with this game and see how and how will it be pulling off and what it is it try to be. Now it looks good, yes it does, but that's that really. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Well, I think I'm done rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys later. Have an awesome day, and uh, yeah, have a good one. You casting on my